Hey fam, what's up? So <clears throat> this is gonna be actually a kind of a shorter video than my normal ones will be, but um, I'm really coming on here just to review my first box of Picky Bars. I am so excited that I am now a part of the Picky Club. Uh, if you don't know, Picky Bars is a company and they also sell bars, but the name of the company is Picky Bars. If you don't know about them by the end of this video, hopefully I will encourage you to know more about them. Um, Stephanie Bruce, Steph Bruce or uh, Steph Rothstein was her old maiden name. Um, she is really what encouraged me to find them in the first place that she was someone who started this company and then on one of her videos she actually talked about picky bars and I was like oh my gosh okay so I'm jumping on the bandwagon I, I really am a fan of supporting small businesses and this is a small business that I think is um, owned by some very very just honest genuine kind hardworking and talented um, talented people in the athletic uh, arena, specifically in running and triathlons and, and biking and all of that. So anyways, um, I'm very excited. I have my first box here and uh, I'm just, I'm very excited. So I'm going to kind of open it. I'm going to take things out as they come. I sort of know what's in it just because um, when you place your order, you get to choose the things that come in your box when you join Picky Club and you get to choose how often you get it. So um, we're going to see what I got because I don't remember. So it'll kind of be like a little surprise. Um, so yeah, Picky Bars, here we go. I'm going to open it up. Um, I already got the tape started. You might have seen just so that on video I wasn't um, totally struggling with <laughs> opening the box, but I'm going to take things out from up here. Let's see. Oh, cute. There's a little card on top. Welcome to the Picky Club. You're officially in the Picky Club. You're in charge. You manage your subscriptions. Okay, cool. Pause, skip, or change your address. Basically, just a pamphlet telling me what I can and cannot do in the Picky Club. Um, it's very self-explanatory, so very customizable to you and what you want each month or two or three you kind of get to pick all right let's see what we have got there's a lot of bars in here this one is need for seed um, I have not tried this one yet I will say I've tried a few but they don't carry all of them um, at the place that I've been getting them so I definitely put some in this box that I have not tried yet and I'm very excited so um, but you're probably thinking okay there's bars they all have cute little covers on them there's cliff bars RX bars macro bars built bars quest bars I mean you name it kind bars Lara bars what makes these so special okay well I will say that because they were made actually by athletes like in the kitchen and they discovered that these are what worked for them doing the same sport that I am doing um, I trusted it right off the bat and it says on the back by and for athletes I thought whipping up a real food bar that agreed with my triathlete husband's training needs and sensitive stomach would be a weekend project but please enjoy the fruits and nuts of our labor. Okay, Lauren Fleshman, um, her husband has um, some like GI issues when it comes to eating like whole foods, which is what we try to fuel with. And so she um, did her best to come up with a bar that helped with that. Also, Steph Bruce, who's a pro marathoner and runner, um, she has uh, some nutritional restrictions and by some I mean quite a few that you could see her talk about in one of her videos um, and this had things in here that she could eat um, they're gluten-free it's all plant-based protein um, there's no soy there's no dairy so it's really it's very good for people who have some restrictions and can't eat some of the stuff that's out there um, and then the third person I said it was created by a few people the third person on here is Jesse Thomas um, who is an Ironman champion which if you know what Ironmans are they're crazy if you don't go look them up okay so this is um, just to give you an idea of the ingredients I won't read every single one um, but we have let's see dates sunflower seeds rice protein honey tapioca syrup brown rice apricots some rice flour um, semi-sweet chocolate chips, dried cranberries, apple juice concentrate, um, pumpkin seeds, sea salt, brown rice syrup, cinnamon, 
and um, some natural vitamin E that's used as both vitamin E and as the preservative. So I could pronounce all of those ingredients. They're all things that you and I could go into a store and buy. So much like um, the RX bar or the Epic Protein bar, those are also made with you know actual ingredients that you can pronounce. Um, these are as well. I personally think that these are a little bit tastier than those, which is why I love them. And there are so many flavors um, besides just supporting some truly honest people and some uh, some individuals who, um, if you go look them up and follow them, are they're just really living out um, a life that I, I admire, and I admire them as family members um, to their family. They're, they're just great people. So I'm all about supporting them. I can't stress that enough, and I'm all about good whole foods that agree with my stomach and are pretty balanced. So, need for seed. We have that one. Next up, we have blueberry boom dizzle. Blueberry boom dizzle. Blueberries, almonds, and vanilla. Okay, I'm excited for this one. You can see all the covers are just slightly different. This one looks like that. This one looks like that. Okay. We have Moroccan Your World turmeric, ginger, and pistachios. Okay, I have tried this one, and it is one of my absolute favorites. Dates, almonds, rice, brown rice. Um, there's like cinnamon and ginger in a lot of these. This one also has cardamom. Cardamom is one of my newly found discovered spices um, that I really, really like with along with the, the ginger. So love this. It's one of my favorites. I had to get it. Next up, we have Chai and Catch Me. Chai and Catch Me is almonds, ginger, and cardamom. I think this was another one that I had tried and I really, really liked. And then we have, oh yeah, I must have liked it because I ordered two. <laughs> um, I have another All In Almond, which is almonds, apricots, and chocolate chip. Haven't tried this one yet, but I'm very excited to. It sounded tasty. Then we have Ah Fudge Nuts. Um, this one, as you can kind of guess, is chocolate and peanut butter. Um, it has the Reese's Cups on the top. And in this one, for the ingredients, you're like, how can chocolate and peanut butter be like a protein bar, it, you know, in comparison to the other ones? So this just has peanuts, dates, tapioca syrup, cocoa powder, uh, rice protein, sea salt, and vitamin E. It's very simple. Oh, and the semi-sweet chocolate chips. So the little chocolate chips in there. And you guys, you have to try them. It's not like... It feels kind of like you're eating a cookie, but it's not like you're eating a cookie. The chocolate chips are not so prevalent that it's not healthy, obviously. Um, a little chocolate is good for you. It's good for the soul and it's good for you. Um, this one is, I remember really liking this one, Cinnamon Rollin. Um, I'm just a fan of cinnamon in general, which might also be why I was drawn to this, but raisins, walnuts, and cinnamon. I also love walnuts, they're really tasty. Um, Let's see, a couple more. Get so many. The guy, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's so, it's cheap. Like compared to going into a grocery store, I'm getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve for twenty-four dollars plus. Uh, oh no, they didn't send me a shirt. Oh, your size is back ordered. Okay, plus you get a picky club shirt. And they usually give you uh, one little item to try, which in this case is cool. Sport Performance Sun Barrier. It's a sample of um, uh, water resistant sunscreen uh, now that summer is coming. And they actually gave a little note to zinc based SPF 45 sun barriers made with athletes in mind so you can power through any sweaty summer workout. Plus it's 80 minute water resistant. And then they give you a code too, that's nice, for 20% um, off if you like the product and you choose to use it, so awesome. But anyway, and shipping is free. So I'm getting the same as if I would go into a store, buy two for four RX bars. It's the same exact deal, but I'm buying from a company that is a small business company. I think that they taste better. They're lighter on my stomach. Um, when I eat these before a workout, 
it does not feel like I've eaten a bar before a workout. When I eat an RX bar before a workout, I have to kind of only eat half of one with maybe like a half a banana if it's a longer run. Um, otherwise, I have to just have a couple bites because it's too, it feels too dense. Um, this is a different, a lighter texture, but still filling. I can't really describe it. You just kind of have to have it. Um, there were two I didn't share with you, sorry. Uh, Lauren's Mega Nuts. This is a popular flavor that I have not tried. So everyone talks about it and I'm very excited. It's peanut butter, fruit, and honey, which sounds delicious, so I'm sure that it is. And then there's this one. This was the very first one that I tried, um, Smooth Caffeinator and hazelnuts, chocolate, and coffee. There is actually hazelnuts in here, I believe, if I remember correctly. Yep, hazelnuts is the first ingredient, which means the most prevalent thing in here are hazelnuts and dates. Yum. Um, so I'm excited about this. I think it tells you maybe how much caffeine, I don't even remember, 11 milligrams of caffeine per bar. So this is a great one um, if you run early in the morning like I do, uh, especially if it's a long run and you just need that extra little jolt um, with your water and maybe you're not feeling coffee or you're like me and you forgot to make more cold brew and you wish you had a little bit to take with you in the car ride to wherever you're running from, um, this one is definitely one um, that you want. I think it's tasty. The chocolate flavor is not terribly prevalent. Um, it's I don't know, it's just a nice balance. It's almost like having a little mocha um, in a bar. So, I love that. Um, that is all that's in my box. Like I said, it usually comes with a um, shirt when you join the club, and I can't show you what that looks like because I don't have it. Um, but they did give me this little note that says, it will come with my next shipment order. Um, you can see the signatures. It's a very small company, y'all. That's Picky Bars right there. Those are the people. And same with the back of the card. I mean, that's it. They sign it and that's it. Those are the people. Um, true, honest, hardworking people that are making this company happen. And the product is amazing. I should mention, besides the bars, right? You're thinking, okay, bars, great. What if I don't want bars? Um, they also have performance granola that they sell and they just came out with this new flavor called sassy molassy which i absolutely love um ginger backstrap molasses goji berries coconuts and seeds um it's apparently very tasty i didn't make it into the club in time to try the um like the before they release it version uh but it looks absolutely tasty um I can't wait. It's new and I can't wait to try it. And then besides that, they also have um, what they call performance oatmeal. You can see on the bottom, that's just one example. Um, game set matcha. And that one is matcha, goji berries, pepitas, and cardamom, the spice, uh, and it's performance oatmeal. They sell it in bags of like four servings and they also sell it in single serving bags. Um, I didn't order any this time around just because I was completely out of bars. I didn't have dates to make my own bars, and if I was going to do it, I was just gonna go for it, join the picky club, and get bars. So I got all of these bars, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> I think I can move them in so that you can see them all in the frame. Um, these are great for a snack, a before workout, an after workout, the ratio. Okay, if we're getting down to the math behind it, the ratio of these are you know, they even have on the back the little balance beam thing with the carbs and then your fats and your proteins, okay? Um, picky bars are balanced real food with the ideal mix of carbs, fat, and protein for quick and sustained energy. So sustained energy, y'all, you need the protein and the fats, especially the healthy fats. They're good for you and that's what keeps you full and it allows your body to process and use the carbohydrates and the protein that you're giving it, okay? If you don't give yourself healthy fats, that's why the avocado fad is a real thing, right? You don't, I mean, you don't eat a thousand grams of healthy fats, but a right amount of healthy fat is supposed to be in your diet and it is good for you, just like carbohydrates, just like protein, okay? Um, it all matters, it really does. And when you hit those numbers with real food, your body is in heaven, essentially. So with those ingredients that I've read to you, okay, most of them have dates 
some sort of nut or nut butter and then um, some sort of, you know, this one has like vanilla extract as a flavor or brown rice syrup, um, something like that as the sweetener. But the dates are pretty sweet in themselves. So a lot of these you'll see, um, there's really not much added sugar. A lot of it is just total sugars included. Like this has 16 grams of sugar, but a lot of that comes straight from the either dried fruits or um, the uh, like chocolate, um, semi-sweet chocolate chips if that's what they chose to put in it. Other than that, that's all the added sugar that are in these babies. Um, for this one, what is this? The Chai and Catch Me, which is what I said one of my favorite flavors. Um, it's only 190 calories, which I've stopped counting calories. I really just care about my macro, like what I'm putting in my body. But um, if you're a calorie person and you're using these as like a mid-afternoon snack or whatever, great, 190 calories. Um, it has seven grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs, and six grams of protein. So <clears throat> the reason why these are really great for, you know, before a workout or after a workout, especially if you're um, a runner, or an endurance athlete of some kind, the ideal ratio when you get done with a workout and you're you're ready to refuel your body um, is really usually three to one or four to one, depending on who you ask, um, carbs to protein. So right, the protein is required in order to rebuild um, the muscle. And when you know you're running and biking in an endurance way, you are I mean, you're kind of breaking down your body, essentially. And so what you put in it, you 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 will hear me if you haven't watched another video yet, um, or when I post this, that video isn't up. But um, after a workout, you're supposed to restore your glycogen stores, which is kind of weird to say. But your muscles store glycogen, obviously, and you replenish those by fueling your body with carbohydrates. Um, if you give your body protein, obviously it will use the protein to repair itself but if you don't have the energy or carbohydrates carbohydrates are energy if you don't have the energy in order to rebuild um, your process of recovery will be slower so I never really thought about it but ever since I've I've learned that and I've had even like an apple or a banana with some nuts after a workout um, having that that three to one or four to one ratio is important. So in these bars, we have 24 grams of carbs, six grams of protein. So that's a four to one ratio. Um, I think all of them are about the same. This is 25 carbs, seven grams of protein. All of them have about seven grams of fat. Some of them might have a little bit more. Let's see if I can find one. This is same. Um, they're all about the same. 24 grams of carbs, 7 grams of protein. Okay, still 7 grams of fat. Um, so that's what I also like about these bars. No matter which flavor you choose, there's really not much difference. Um, some bars, you know, you have to get like the, oh, this is the high protein kind bar. And well, what if I want the flavor of the not high protein kind bar? You know, I... I don't know. I just think that these are genius in that they're all the same calories within 10 of each other. They're all within 10. They're either 180 or 190. Literally every single one that I'm looking at right now. Okay. And that's like nine different flavors, 10 different flavors that I have. Um, the formula seems kind of basic, but these people have worked incredibly hard to bring some really tasty bars at um, a very consistent uh, nutrient way so that you feel the same no matter what flavor and they are just handy to have um, I can't I can't I can't recommend them enough um, soon I can do a maybe like a review just drop a comment below or let me know do you want me to review a bunch of different flavors of the bars um, I guess I could open up different ones and review them I could review one at a time um, I could review the granola if you'd like me to give some um, granola reviewing uh, and I could also review some of the if you would like to see anything more about 
um, Picky Bars or the Picky Club. I will link below um, the website Picky Bars so that if you want to check it out, you can go on there and look at it. Um, there's a bunch more information there too about the founders and those athletes and their families and their stories and why they um, decided to create Picky Bars. So if you're more interested or you're like, wow, I would really like to support a small business instead of going to the grocery store and paying a pretty high dollar for um, performance bars. I promise you these performance bars have made me feel really good and I've used them as a snack. I've used them before a workout. I've used them after a workout. Um, Steph Bruce, who is one of the founders of these, um, Maybe I'll link the video where she mentions them. I think there's two videos that I know of where she talks about them. And uh, you can go ahead and, and check that out. Maybe subscribe to her channel too because she's fantastic. And when she talks about them, I mean, she goes through a lot of picky bars. Um, she'll eat more than, more than one or two or three even a day sometimes. So I'm a fan. I can't say it enough. I feel like this is a very long video. Um, for just opening up a picky bar box, but I got a little carried away because I am pretty passionate about this product and I plan on using these as a um, source of fuel for my marathon training, which has begun. Um, so from now all the way through November, um, I will be definitely consuming quite a few picky bars and hopefully in the future some performance oatmeal and performance granola. So this is no way um, a sponsored video. They did not ask me to do this. Uh, I just am very passionate about the product. I finally took the plunge and said, you know what, if I'm going to keep trying to go to the same place that has these, but they only have four flavors and I'm going to keep buying them over and over again, I might as well buy directly from this company, give them the sale, it's cheaper, um, I'm supporting them directly, and I get to try a whole bunch of really, really tasty stuff. So I'm very excited to be fueling with Picky Bars and um, Picky Bars granola and oatmeal. I can't wait to order those things and try them. Um, but for now, I have a ton of bars that I'm about to go eat one of because um, I'm hungry and I want a snack that I know is going to fill me up and keep me fueled. So go check it out fam. Picky Bars, the links are below. Steph Bruce and the people who uh, have formed this company are amazing. Shout out to them. Shout out to Piggy Bars. And I cannot wait to um, continue my fueling journey with them. Thanks.